Hello and welcome to whathifi.com. It may not seem like it when you're staring at 30 high definition TVs in the shop, but buying an HD telly is the easy part. What you really need to think about is where you're going to get all that high definition content from. Now the first thing you need to know is you can't just plug a TV into an aerial and get high def programs. They're working on bringing HD to Freeview in the future, but right now there just isn't enough space available on the airwaves. However, the good news is there are now four ways to get high definition. From Sky HD, from Virgin Media, most recently we've seen the introduction of FreeSat, and to get high def from discs, of course, we have the Blu-ray format, right now being provided by Sony's PlayStation 3. With the three HD broadcast providers, there's a variable amount of content available right now, but they're all promising a great deal more in the future. And provided your TV is up to the job, which means an HD ready model for the broadcast systems and full HD if you want to watch a lot of Blu-ray discs, then all you need to do is add one of these boxes and you're ready to go. Now, you may have heard all about the new HD TV formats, read about things like 720p, 1080i or even 1080p. It sounds confusing, but the simple facts are these. Most current high-definition broadcasts are shown in 1080i resolution. That's 1,080 lines shown interlaced. Interlaced means that only half the lines on the screen are shown in any one instant, immediately followed by the other half. However, your brain is clever enough to fill in the gaps due to something called persistence of vision. Now, you know when you look at a bright light and then close your eyes and the light's still there? Well, don't do that, it's pointless. But if you do, the light will still be there and that's what persistence of vision is and it's how TVs have worked since the earliest days of black and white. Some broadcasts are shown in 720p, that's 720 lines of information shown progressively or all at once. But don't worry too much about that because your TV and set-top box will cope with that automatically. Now the picture on Blu-ray disc is available in an even higher resolution, 1080p. And for that you ideally need a full HD or 1080p capable TV like this Pioneer. If you only have an HD ready telly, don't worry because that will simply downscale the picture from Blu-ray to fit the resolution of your screen. Hooking up HD sources to your TV couldn't be much simpler thanks to this. It's the High Definition Multimedia Interface, or HDMI, to its friends. All you need to do is plug one end of the HDMI cable into the socket on the back of the set-top box, and then take the other end of the cable and plug it into the back of your TV. HDMI can transfer high-definition TV broadcasts, plus multi-channel or stereo sound, direct down a single cable to your TV. It can also take that top quality audio and transfer it into your multi-channel receiver, provided the receiver can handle it and the set-top box can output the signal. However, that may not be the case. It's unfortunate, but these set-top boxes here can't actually send Dolby Digital multi-channel surround sound to your receiver via HDMI. So for that, you're going to need one of these, an optical digital cable. It's quite simple, though. You simply plug one end of this cable into the optical output of your set-top box and the other end into your receiver. The problem here is with the broadcasters and the film studios and their concerns about piracy. But it does slightly defeat the point of the do-it-all HDMI cable. The good news is that if you have your high-definition TV system installed professionally, you won't need to do anything to get the best picture quality because the engineer will do it all for you. However, if you'd like to install your own system or perhaps change your set-top box, here are some handy hints. By all means, experiment with the 720p and 1080i output resolutions on your set-top box. Some swear that one looks better than the other with certain types of material. Images with lots of motion, for example, often look better on 720p, while slow-moving, very detailed footage, like on a nature documentary, can look better on 1080i. But if you don't want to fiddle, don't worry. Just leave it on auto for best all-round picture performance. And don't forget to select Dolby Digital output, not stereo. Otherwise, you won't get any multi-channel surround sound. For more on getting the best audio from your HD sources, check out our video on how to set up your multi-channel receiver, where we go into more detail about all the high-resolution audio formats available from Blu-ray discs. And if you'd like even more help and information, then don't forget to visit us on the forums at whathifi.com.